Tesla announced its second quarter earnings yesterday afternoon. As expected, the company is still burning through cash and continues to miss production targets. But CEO Elon Musk says the company has, quote, climbed out of production hell in June and was on track to launch its less pricey Model 3 car by year's end. And in other car news, leaked documents reveal that Lyft, while still playing second fiddle to Uber, is growing. Rides were up 12% in July. Other details also point to growth, but anonymous sources have said that Lyft is gearing up for a sale, a move that can make even more sense given Uber's decision to give up its business in China and focus on competition here at home. Andrew, what do you make of that Uber giving up on China? Well, you know, it's kind of interesting because China has just proven to be such a hard nut to crack for the tech industry. I mean, it's not just uh, privately funded uh, uh, companies like Uber. You've got big tech companies failing out in China, you know? Yeah, exactly. And I think it's remarkable because you see Travis Kalanick, he was joking that he was going to apply for citizenship in China. He was spending a lot of money on the country. And, uh, you know, looks like that's not going to be going on anymore. Absolutely. Okay. Moving on to the presidential campaign, we could easily spend the next 30 minutes talking about all of the twists and turns it's taken this week. But from a business perspective, probably the most interesting thing that's happened is HP Enterprise Chief Meg Whitman announcing her support for Hillary Clinton. On Facebook, Whitman, a longtime Republican, called Trump reckless and uninformed. Andrew, what do you make of this? Well, it's kind of crazy. I mean, Meg Whitman, you know, she, to me, has been a canary in the coal mine for, for this race. I mean, she's a, an immensely powerful Republican, uh, uh, huge networks in, in uh, California, and business and tech, right? So a, a big force, and I would be worried if I were the Republicans. What do you think? I, I got to agree. Um, you see some Silicon Valley, some billionaires coming out for Donald Trump. You have Peter Thiel, Carl Icahn, um, but right. there are a ton of big name business leaders uh, lining up behind Hillary Clinton. You have Michael Bloomberg, Warren Buffett, Mark right. Cuban, Mark Benioff. The list really goes on and on. And, you know, the other thing that's crazy to me is, you know, we focus so much, we in the press have focused so much on the kind of the Republican candidacy and how much it's in shambles, but the Democrats aren't exactly doing so great either. I mean, the DNC, the Democratic National Committee, I mean, the, the, the chief uh, had to step down and there's turnover there. Plus, the DNC was hacked purportedly by Russian hackers. I mean, it's just kind of a mess, you know? It's kind of a mess all around. Absolutely. All right. Clearly, we have a lot to say about that. That, but here's what Fortune readers really care about right now. The top trending story on Fortune.com is this. Why Nike is getting out of the golf equipment business. And what do you make of this? Should Nike actually get out of golf? Yeah, yeah, I think so. And I think so because no one plays golf anymore. <laughs> so, so in 2000, there were 30 million Americans playing golf. Um, now there are 23 million. Um, and I don't see that turning around. Millennials just don't want to play. And, you know, the, the big takeaway for me is how much talent Nike is losing by pulling out of this, uh, this, this area. I mean, you know, Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy. I mean, they're going to go to uh, competing brands. Crazy. Absolutely. And no doubt the Olympics will also be trending soon. Opening ceremonies are tomorrow in Rio. Andrew, you're going to be watching. What are you looking for? I'm looking at the athletes' feet, truthfully. <laughs> so one of the things that's fascinating to me is how athletes have to get financial support, right? How they make money to, to go down to the Olympics and compete. And that's through apparel and equipment sponsorships. But many of them aren't, you know, they don't have those sponsorships. And so if you look at their feet, they'll actually be taping over the logos, you know, hoping that somebody will sponsor them.